Yo yo, we are back in After Effects And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this skin cracking effect Or you can also call it vein glowing effect Whatever you prefer It looks super dope So let's just get into it uh, In my timeline, you can see I have this normal clip From the next one video, of course So to start off, we're gonna track his skin right here I'm gonna put the crack right here So I'm gonna track this right here So to do it, you can use like track camera or track motion But I really like to use mocha if you don't already know when you download after effects mocha AE comes in it free so it's a free plugin so you don't even have to install you just have to search like mocha AE and i'll add it to your clip and now click on this mocha icon and go into the scene setup and we're gonna hit close for now and in here you can see our clip so to track it we're gonna use this tool it looks like pen tool but it allows us to select the part and track it so make sure you are in first frame of your clip and select the area where you want the cracking or the effect to happen so i want it somewhere around here so let's just do it and when you're done hit right click to finish it off as you can see now i have a pretty good selection of the area that i want to track and to track go over to here you can see in this play button you can see here called track and we're gonna hit track forward which is this one at the last and it will track our skin so it's pretty fast according to the resolution of your clip now you can hit this s and also the grid so it's like create this type of grid we would want so after that hit save right here or control s would work as well and you can just close out of here now then now to add the cracking i grab this i grab this image from google i'll leave this in the description for free so you can check it out drag into our comp now and you will see it here so to apply the track on it so after you got your vein in your comp start by scaling down it and putting it where you want the effect to be happening around here and rotate it as well according to your liking for sure like something like this so it's like fits in your artist face uh, let's just slow it down more as you can see i lined it up pretty perfectly you can just play around more you can just play around more to get it to your liking after that to add the tracking that we did in mocha to our layer simply just click on this layer first and select your footage layer where we have our mocha effect then just open up the tracking data panel as you can see this right here and in here you can see a button called create track data we're gonna just hit there and in here it will show up like layer one yeah we did our effect on our layer one so we're gonna just hit okay now we are not done yet to apply the track what you have to do is in export layer two set it as your vein layer so let me just rename it so it's like easy for you like veins right there and go to layer export two and in none select your vein layer right there and just hit apply export and as you can see our, our export is applied but it's really small we don't want that so to fix that i made like a work around it it is not the perfect workflow by any means but it's just how i find it would work so selecting your vein layer double click it and get into the pre-comp as you can see you can see our pre-comp is here and just scale it up in here like this and you can just reposition it like eyeball it now we can see it is much more scaled up uh, i want it more scaled up like that and put it somewhere around here yeah that's cool that's cool scale it up more i guess and put it about here that's hard bro that's hard for sure and after that if you play you can see our things are perfectly tracked into our scene that's what we exactly want maybe like i'm gonna like scale it down more and put it somewhere like that that works for me for sure so now we're gonna create the animation so let's just pre-comp it again and name it com2 and we're gonna again pre-comp it again and name it com3 so now we're gonna go over to the pre-comp that we made last time and now in here we're gonna create the animation so now in here we're gonna add tint on uh, tint to change the color you can like swap color and make it white for now if you like to change it to other colors just go to white and set it to whatever color you like but i don't like doing it this way i'm gonna just hit cancel for now and to do it i'm gonna use vc color vibrance if you don't already know it's a plugin from video copilot it's, it's completely free you can search it up on google or youtube and you'll find it easily so in color i'm gonna set it to something like blue because our scene is kind of bluish so it makes sense and you can see it really makes it feel realistic you can like play with the vibrance and not 
and free job luminance as well but anyways now to create the animations now we're going to take this shape marks tool rectangle tool click on it for a second and it should pull up this and we're going to take the circle tool right here select that and we're going to just create a circle marks like this in it after that you can hit m to bring up your marks and firstly we're going to animate the marks part and line it up again like that so it moves according to that after that to create that growing animation we're going to open up our max again and in here you can see the max expansion just hit the stop button there and put the first stream a bit further like over to the end and start lowering down the amount so it like shrinks the area as you can see like that i think my circle isn't like perfect so i'm gonna like select both of this clip put it somewhere around here so it like drinks from the start if that makes sense from the center a bit like there perfect as you can see we have the animation right now but it looks pretty choppy so to make it more realistic in your max feather bring it up to like 100 now nah, 100 would be too much like something around 50 or 60 should work that looks pretty solid i like that for sure after that to add those moments i'm gonna use turbulent displacement so i'm gonna add an effect called turbulent displacement in here and lower down the size to like 14 or 15 uh, 13 should work and now you can start animating the amount so at the first frame it's on 50 that we want and at the last we're gonna set it to zero as always maybe also like playing around with these preset might help i'm gonna bring down the size a bit lower and now i think it looks pretty solid so let's just head to our main comp now and you can see our animation looks really dope so to add on this i'm gonna add a little deep glow and it will turn it into a black so to remove that hit on mold and it should remove it and you can like bring up the amount if you like lower down the threshold as well that looks super dope bro if you don't have like deep glow you can use optical glow that's my favorite for sure and also like the normal glow as well like play around with the amount and also set the branding mode to screen if you're using the normal glow so to make it more realistic in the screen you can see it like goes in and nothing happens so to create more depth we are gonna add some distortion in it so for the distortion you can use like cc glass effect if you want have like you can say you can use this go to surface and set it as your comp layer and play with these sizes and stuff it's it works too but it's not my favorite the thing i like to use is sapphire distort chroma as always and in lens set it as a comp layer the vein layer and lower down the blur lens so it like creates depth in it and lower down the amount as well also you can animate the amount so it like low goes down as it goes like 0.1 maybe like bringing up the lens a bit more and the amount is really low i guess just bring it up more now it looks super realistic as you can see if i like turn off my glow vein layer you can see all of this distortion looks pretty cool so anyways let's just turn it on again so to spice it up i'm gonna add a preset from a preset pack so create the adjustment layer and i'm gonna use ultimate grunge bundle from the add-on i'm gonna use ghost so let's just use that and if it not like aligned properly because it is made for 4k select your radio blur and just set it center again like that somewhere around his face and i'm gonna like lower down the amount of it as well and also same thing with the chromatic aberration and i'm gonna remove the warp puddle and also lower down the flicker as well so after all my final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel stay locked in with all the tutorials i'm uploading daily on july so yeah see you in next video peace